Hi guys and welcome to the Fancy Football Daily. I'm Joe, I'm back. Dave's here this week from All Time Tens. Hi. Had a mess in his first week. Can he do that? Probably not. Let's kick this off. Right guys, so my first pick is going to be a goalkeeper and it's going to be Joe Hart. I think he's had a stunning season so far this year for Man City. He looks really strong between the sticks with a solid, solid back four in front of him. And they look, I know they might have conceded two against Juventus midweek. Haven't conceded so far in the league and they will keep it up against Watford, uh, West Ham this weekend. Who are they playing, mate? West Ham? West Ham. They are playing, they're playing West Ham. I know West Ham have uh, beaten a couple of the big boys away from home this year, but uh, City just look dominant in, in England this year. Oh, I can't disagree with your pick. A um, little bit expensive, I've got to spend all that money on a goalkeeper, which is why my pick, my goalkeeper, is going to be Simeon Mignolet. I know the week before when I was on, I said Mignolet and then they got smashed 3 0 by West Ham. But and three one by United last week as well. So I didn't. I didn't, I didn't say having last week, did I? I no, said no, for this week, that. have some on to play Norwich. Norwich at home. I think I'm not going to say guarantee clean sheet, but I don't think they're going to concede many. And I think he's, um, you know, depending not great on. Great against United. They weren't great against United. Either three one. All right, you've had your pick. I'm saying mine. I'm going some Salmon Mignolet, Get get your team as your goalkeeper. Right, guys, my defender is going to be a bit of a left-wing pick, but it's going to be Craig Cathcart of Watford. Watford looks so solid this year for a team that's just come up. They haven't conceded many goals, three clean sheets so far this season, and he is really the rock of that defence. And also, they're playing, the, they're playing Newcastle this weekend, and Newcastle is dreadful. And really, really New, Newcastle at home or what? what? Newcastle are at home. It is at St James's Park, but the North East, them and Sunderland, just are the worst teams Do in the league. Do you not think Newcastle might bounce back at St James's and you know, put, put on a show? I actually don't. I think Steve McLaren was the wrong man to be chosen in the first place. Couldn't get Derby up from the Championship, so why the hell he got a Newcastle job? Mike Ashley's an absolute clown. I don't know what he was saying. Uh, and I think Newcastle looks so poor. Really, look really, really bad this season. Cool. Cool. So my pick for defender is Brendan Galloway. I thought he was absolutely fantastic against Chelsea last week. Good player. He'll be cheap as well, so I'd say get him in now. Um, yeah, good young player. Um, really, really good player. He's going to probably potentially get in a contract as well from Everton, so he's going to be on a real lift as well. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad show actually. But, Swansea, Swansea this weekend. Ha ha. Yeah, but I think Everton must be buzzing after smashing. Chelsea, I can't yeah, see that. Yeah, that is there. true, that is true. So he's my pick. I know uh, he probably won't be in your teams at the moment, but it'll be cheap. So if you've got a bit of money to spend or if you need to save some money, I would say move some stuff about and get Brandon Galloway in. My midfield pick is going to be a Spurs player, actually. Spurs haven't started particularly well, but Nasser Chadley, I think, has started well. He scored and he's had an assist so far this season. I think he could be the man to bring into your team if you're looking for a different dimension. You don't want to splash all your money on Harry Kane and Christian Eriksen hasn't quite been there. So Nasser Chadley, very good option. Definitely an option. They're playing Crystal Palace, right? Yeah, Palace have started like a house on fire, I'll admit it, but I, I, I fancy Spurs to get a re result against Palace this weekend. I shall pick. My midfield pick is Andre Ayew. Great shout. Been absolutely on fire for Swansea at the moment. Yeah. Scores has got three goals in the last five games. Something like that, yeah. But yeah, midfielder, yeah. That, that, that is just the biggest piece of value you're ever going to pick up. Can't believe, believe they got him on a free transfer. Can't believe they got him on a free transfer. Some so so you go. he's my pick. I think he's strong. He's quick. He links up very, very well with Gomez. So he'd probably like to get an assist as well. He's, to me, it's just like a no, no like brainer. Get uh, Andre Ayew in your team. Right, my striker, you might remember last time Dave was sat here, he uh, gave me a load of stick about bringing Callum Wilson in your team. If you still haven't got him, I don't know what the hell you're thinking, you've got to get him in, especially this week. Sunderland at home, it's going to be an absolute trouncing. Wilson's get a hat-trick, I reckon. Okay, I have to hold my hands up there. I did say Callum Wilson would not score another goal until Christmas. He, yeah, I did have a howler there, so um, yeah, fair play to you on that. Um, I'd actually go along with that. My striker this week, my pick for a striker is Christian Benteke. I thought he's won the goal against United last week. He'd be full of confidence. He's big, he's strong, he's quick. He is, the, he is basically the focal point of Liverpool's attack. Everything is going to go through him. They'll have Coutinho back from suspension. I think it, it, it's, it's a great shout. Depending on how much money, depending on what fantasy, team you, uh, what fantasy game you play, if the money's right, get Christian Benteke in your team. I like Christian Benteke, but as I said, I think he's going to be isolated. So my captain's pick this week is crucial for your captains. Remember, you guys at home, double points, get your captain and get him as a forward player because that's the, that's the players that get you all the points. Although I like Liverpool to get the result. I don't think Benteke is the man to do the job. I think Coutinho, coming back from suspension, he'll have a point to prove. They're at home to Norwich. I think that's, that's the man who's going to score your goals and that's where your point's going to come from. I know it's a risk. Having a midfielder as a captain, a lot of you guys would like to have a striker, but I think Coutinho offers a good option in a week that's so, so hard to call results. 
Cool. Well, I've actually gone for midfielder as my captain as well. I've gone for David Silva. I think he's just bubbling, like he's, he's just getting ready to come to form. I think now would be the time to bring him in and make him your captain. They are playing West Ham this week. I feel like Man City have a point to prove after um, the game midweek against Juve. I think they'll come out strong. I think they, they kind of see the Premier League as their, it's basically their title to lose, even though only five games in. Definitely five five, five games in. So David Silva, get him in, um, particularly if Sergio Aguero's back as well, because like, you can just see David Silva f feeding him all kinds of balls and yeah. Sergio Aguero's your man to finish off. So he's going to get points per assist, double points per assist. And I can see him popping up with your goal as well. All right, guys, that's all our tips this week. We hope you beat your mates at home. Hope you take my tips on board. Thanks very much for Dave from All Time Tens for joining me. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and a quick shout out to Peter Fleming, who is now top of the Football Daily League. 301 points with his team, Peter FC, original team name. Really rate that. So, uh, see, I actually sent him my tips by that text last week. That's why he's top. That's why he's top. Fair enough. Do listen to what I'm saying. Mm, not so sure. We'll catch you on the flip side.